Cubase Pro 11 has simplified the process of delivering multiple formats of mixed downs in STEM files. Let's take a look at an example here. If we have a project that has MIDI going to virtual instruments, as well as audio, we'll have channel EQs, the channel strip, send effects, insert effects, and automation. And if we needed to deliver this in different formats for different uses, this has always been an incredibly difficult task. But now it's been simplified when we go to the export audio mixdown with the inclusion of the export queue. If you don't see it activated, you could just click just to the left of export queue. Let's say the director of the film is driving in her car and they want you to send an MP3 file so that they can listen to the music. We will choose MP3. We'll make it a 320K and let's just add it to the queue. At this point, we could, for every scenario we set up, we could save a preset. So I have this saved as MP3. If we need to burn a audio file as an audio CD, we can say, let's make this a 16 bit 44.1 interleave file and let's add that to the queue. Our video editor wants a 48K 24-bit file. We could add that to our queue. If we have multiple queues within a project and these are separated or delineated by cycle markers, we could choose to export based on the cycle markers. So I could say, I just want the car chase scene or Q2. And at this point, we could add that to the queue. It gets very complicated as we deliver stems. So if I wanted to select multiple, at this point, I could collapse all my different channel types. I could take all of my input channels, my effects, instruments, and VST instrument channels and audio channels. And we could expand that view. But let's say at this point, we want to have special naming configurations. Maybe I want the name of the track plus the name of the project. So we could go to our naming scheme and we could set up different naming schemes. So I could say we want the channel name, project name, and maybe free text. And so let's say this will be like the secret code name of the project or whatever. And we can see kind of a preview of how all the audio files naming conventions will be laid out. Now, sometimes mixing down if within the same audio file folder can be confusing because you could have multiple files that are mixed downs within the same folder. So within our path, we could click here and we could specify a special project mix down folder so that all the files will be placed into a separate unique folder within the project folder that's been defined. If I need to deliver all of my stems to someone else who's going to be mixing and using all the plugins, I may want to deliver without any of the processing that I've applied in my mix console. So at this point, I could choose disabled or dry, and this would maintain the channel width. So a mono file would be rendered as a mono file, a stereo file rendered as a stereo file. So I'll come here and let's add that to our queue. At this point, I need it to do uh, all of my groups and sends. So if I had one reverb that was on a send on my kick and snare, but varying amounts, that reverb will be rendered into each of the tracks with their varying amounts from the sends. So now I could add that to the queue. Let's say at this point, we need to include all of the master effects processing for a live performance. So this way, all of our effects that are on our master bus will be incorporated and we could come right here and again, add that to Q. Now, sometimes you may have a project where you have a template where you don't use all of the tracks in the template. So it does no one any good to actually deliver empty unused audio files that take the same amount of space and take the same amount of time to render. So if we go to our project logical editor, you could have a preset that I made here where you could just say, we wanted the R to select only tracks that have events. So I'll just hit apply. 
And what this project logical editor preset is, if there's no events on the track, that track isn't selected. Now I could click on this icon here, which will sync the selected tracks to the selection in the export audio mix down dialog box. So now all of my tracks are empty, won't render empty useless files for me. And then again, I could add this to the queue. So now we have a number of queues a number of export job queues that have been applied and I could just click on start queue export and that would automatically just render each of those files in sequence for me while I have a nice cup of coffee. So as you can see, this greatly speeds up the workflow process of something that's the tedious part of delivering the files has been greatly simplified with the job queues in, in Cubase Pro 11.